one of the things that the Constitution Project report says is that what we really mean when we say we should have a national security court is we mean to sort of short circuit the harder questions, um, probably because they are hard that we're talking about here, right? The question of scope of detention authority, length of detention authority, et cetera. So I think it's important to start there and to suggest that the real debate is this debate, right, is is what is going to be the government's detention authority, what role is Congress going to play in circumscribing that authority, et cetera. Um, to that point, though, let me add that unlike uh, uh, Jack and Harvey, uh, many of the proponents of national security courts also see them as a useful means for prosecuting uh, uh, terrorism suspects. Um, and I want to suggest that there, it's not just that I think they're unnecessary for reasons that, that Jack lays out. I think they're actually dangerous. Um, because if you actually start having a separate hybridized court that simply does specialized criminal prosecutions, presumably, uh, presumably using different levels of evidentiary proof, uh, different kinds of substantive offenses, maybe even a different burden of proof, uh, different issue, you know, different rules with regard to access to evidence, access to counsel, I think that's where we start getting much, much more in danger uh, of subverting fairly fundamental values.